Max Cream All Malt Beer. This beer was sent to me from Swill and Grog and Beer Mail. Thank you, Swill and Grog, for this. This beer says it's been all malt beer since 2006. Uh, not sure how much Swill paid for it. Um, but actually, I do know. I think he says $44 a carton. Okay, so it's 4.5% ABV. It's uh, brewed and canned by the Hyatt Group in Seoul, Korea. South Korea. Okay, so uh, let's crack it open. Been deep chilled in the fridge since the BMR arrived. Okay. Nice crack. I mean, the might be, you can be pretty aggressive with these. Let's just show you how it's going there. Nice colour. Now, on the can, it says, um, which I found interesting, uh, was it's uh, original all malt beer since 2006 and in cream draft beer brewed with German special malt and cascade aroma hops. It said in the beer mail video, like aroma, cascade hops, sorry. Very tasty. Let's see how this goes. Let's have a look at the appearance in the mug. Okay, uh, dust particles, if you get that. Uh, colour is, you know, uh, like straw appearance, one finger of head, white head, smell. Hmm, it's got a nice sweet smell to it. Kind of like a, to me it's like that white wine aroma. White wine. Okay, hello. So I'll be trying these and... These are the pork cracklets Will and Grog sent me, the Food Joy ones, Australian made, um, spice barbecue flavour, uh, almost no carbs and high in protein. Now, Mrs. Uh, Lawson's been trying these, she's been liking it, and um, crunch factor is definitely there. A bit more light and fluffy than the regular. Um, Regular pork crackle, I get the um, gold snacks, whatever they call that brand. Just a bit more light and fluffy, a bit more like Nobby's, but better than Nobby's pork crackle. So, so but someone said once I was eating something like this. I didn't. This wasn't a chip review. Well, hey, I eat one drink, so I think most of you don't mind me having a pork crackle or a chip and having a yap about it while I have a beer, which most of us do have a snack when we drink. Okay, so. Um, that's where we go on there. Still got that head retaining there, actually. So let's get into it. Eh? Big cheers and cheers to Swill and Grog for sending this uh, South Korean beer down my way. Wow. It has its own flavour. Let me get. Mmm. Good pork crackle on the chill and grill. Nice tip. This beer's got its own flavour. It's got kind of a sweet. And it's got like a. Um, it reminds me a lot like PBR. A good PBR. I'd say it's probably better than a PBR, but it kind of reminds me of that PBR flavour going to it. And it's perhaps blue ribbon if you're not sure. Still got that kind of like, um, it's got that kind of a sweet malt flavour, but the, the, the hop is definitely there. It's kind of like, uh, I'm getting like a bit of a white wine. I'm still getting that white wine flavour flavor coming through there. Mm. It's a difficult one to describe, especially when you're coming from non-alcohol beers. It's very drinkable. Very drinkable indeed. Refreshing. And pleasant. 
session humility would be extremely high. It reminds me so much of PBR, no joke. No joke, it says it's an all malt beer. Now, to say all malt, they don't say it's all barley malt. You can use uh, malted, other grains that are malted, so malted rice. I'm pretty sure you can malt rice, can't you? So, I'm actually going to think that's not all barley malt. Maybe it's another, like, another grain or something that's been malted. Could be totally wrong. Like I said, my taste buds probably aren't as tuned as they, you know, because I've been drinking non-alcohol beers for a while. And sparingly having a regular beer. But all I can say, it's got its own flavour, very drinkable. Um, pairs nice with um, salty foods. Especially this pork crack. Look at that, it's just going in really easy. And still retain that head, and I do have like all the residue of on my lips from eating the pork crackle, but still holding that head, which is, uh, yeah, it's really good. Well, some of those white bees don't hold a head. So that's a good sign. Okay, it's getting to be long here, so let's wrap it up. Uh, well, Max Cream, or Max uh, Beer, All Malt Beer, South Korea. <laughs> Pardon me, a little bit carbonated, but you, it's a lager. Uh, we'd have to go probably, go with B plus, very solid. But so long since I had that ice point, the ice point was really, really good for that style. And I'd say for this style, a B plus, a really good score for this. Really enjoyable. Like I said, reminds me of PBR, but it could just be me. Okay, thanks for watching the episode of Jez Brew Reviews. As always, guys, take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.